and you're also with the market in terms of, look, this year, mm -mm, no, no rate cuts. Uh, we don't see it. That would be like good risk management, basically. No pivot, certainly no cuts in 2023. I think first quarter, second quarter of, of 2024 is up for debate, and to a large extent it will depend on where inflation settles, but definitely no cuts in, in 2023. So in other words, you're, not, you're, you're in the camp where it's not hard landing, it's not soft landing, it, it's no landing. And the, the problem, the recession gets pushed into next year. We would still call it soft landing, partly yeah. because even though we do think that the probability of a recession over a 12-month period is below consensus, I think consensus is around 65%, we're at 25%. 25% okay. is still higher than the long-term average, which is 15%. And so we still have a lot of work to do in terms of rebalancing the labor market, making sure that this joint downward trajectory of price and wage inflation is here to be sustained in, in you know for the next couple of quarters or so so i would call it soft landing as opposed to no landing okay yeah. all right Lotfi, uh i'm british so i've got to talk to you about the uk and, and last year's mini budget fiasco has that has the dust settled there has the situation stabilized in terms of uh, the government's um, economic and fiscal program and where does that leave the case for uh, uk credits and can i also ask did that entire episode highlight how it is almost open season on those sovereigns that are fiscally imprudent or perceived to be? I would say the dust has definitely settled. It's not an issue that comes out in, in my conversations with, with, with clients. Mm -hmm. uh, what did surprise me back then, to your point, is obviously the general impact that it had on sentiment vis-a-vis -vis UK assets in effects and rates and in, in, in credit markets. But what surprised me the most is the second round effects in terms of secondary market liquidity mm -hmm. for example you know in the u.s investment grade market where because of the overlap in the investor base it felt like you know for a couple of sessions that liquidity was actually pressured a lot and a lot of that reflected the selling pressure out of uh, out, out, out of the uk and i think to me that was definitely the biggest lesson from that episode but i would say as it stands right now the dust has mostly settled Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.